Hi, my name is Evan, and today we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence, expert systems in specific. So there's different types of uh, artificial intelligence systems out there, but today we're going to only talk about expert systems, and they're very different than other types of systems. Um, think about uh, an expert system as a, um, a doctor that's very knowledgeable about diseases. Okay, and so what we want to do is replicate uh, the the knowledge base uh, of a human doctor, and uh, in comes in the expert artificial intelligence system. And so the way it kind of works: user interface. Okay, and then we have another component to the process. It's called an inference engine, and the last component here is the knowledge base, okay? And so let's think of the doctor here. We have a doctor. He has many, many years of experience uh, with diseases, detecting diseases, diagnosing them, knowing what the signs are. And um, let's input all of that information into the knowledge base, okay? Think of the knowledge base as a, as a database uh, where there's tons and tons of information about how to um, diagnose diseases. So the uh, knowledge base is essentially a database that contains information, rules about specific, the specific subject. In this case, diseases that are diagnosable uh, by a knowledge base of, of, of a doctor. Uh, the, the knowledge base is a collection of objects and their attributes. An object is a result uh, defined by, by its related rules. Attributes are special rules that help, uh, help us identify the parameters of the object. Uh, the success of any expert system uh, primarily depends on the quality, completeness, and accuracy of the information stored in the knowledge base. So if we have erroneous information in the knowledge base, whenever we run the expert system, the information that we'll, we will re receive is not accurate and it's probably not worth anything. So the knowledge base info needs to be really, really high quality. And uh, so let's move on to the uh, next part here and that's the uh, inference engine. The inference engine is a primary processing property of the expert system, this right here. Uh, the inference engine uses information in the knowledge base to reach conclusions on different situations. The inference engine attempts to use information collected by the user to find the object that matches. So um, the user would be the person who actually puts the information here. So, you know, we could have a doctor, but the doctor usually isn't the one putting the information in the knowledge base. We usually have like uh, a user, we call it a, a programmer, developer, engineer, whatever you want to call it, who actually inputs uh, the information in there. Now there's different types of uh, inference engines. There's a, de a deterministic inference engine. Uh, this type of inference engine has an element of certainty. Uh, the conclusions uh, drawn are guaranteed to be true. For example, how many protons are found in the nucleus of a hydrogen atom? Since this is a known fact, the result is said to be true. And then there's another type of inference engine. It's called a probabilistic inference engine. And this type of inference uh, engine has an element of uncertainty, things that we can't know for sure. For example, if 100 students take a physics exam, how many of them will pass? It won't give us a definite answer, but it'll give us an answer that is probably true. Um, there's different types of uh, inference engine structures. In other words, how it actually um, works through the data from the knowledge base to come to its conclusion. And finally, we have the UI, or the user interface. The user interface can be anything that prints a question or receives information uh, from the user. It can be a voice to speech and vice versa. It is generally natural language processing, so as to be used by the user who is well versed in the uh, task domain. Uh, the user of the uh, ES, or the expert system, need not be necessarily an expert in artificial intelligence to receive uh, the information uh, here. The, the results should be displayed in the following forms. A listing of rule numbers displayed on the screen, verbal narration in natural language, or natural language displayed on screen. Um, so think of going to the doctor. When you go to the doctor, you present to him 
um, certain symptoms. For example, you might have a cough. Okay, and so in this knowledge base, you'll have uh, uh, like a key value pair that says, you know, cough is equal to uh, a cold. Very simple, very simple here. But it's exactly how it works. And so um, the inference engine is essentially kind of like uh, the processing uh, brain, if you will, that metabolizes the data in the knowledge base and comes out with a conclusion. Um, so if the user interface inputs his symptoms as uh, a cough, he will go into the... Um, the inference engine and the inference engine will read, okay, this is a cough, let's go into the knowledge base and let's see what cough actually is. And so the inference engine will go back to the UI or the user interface and come back with a result, in this case, a cold. And so then the, uh, the user would know, hey, I have a cold. These are my symptoms. After I ran through the expert system, it resulted as a cold. So now I have a cold. So this is, uh, the expert system is a way to digitize human knowledge. Um, and this could be a doctor, this could be a psychiatrist, this could be a mechanic, this could be a pilot. And this is how a lot of these artificial intelligence systems um, that are specialized in particular domains are designed. Um, and that's it for today. This is a, a high overview, obviously. And uh, if you want more information about this stuff, you could actually click under this video and uh, you could request uh, coaching from me personally and like and subscribe and talk to you guys later.